In this video, we'll review how to edit or cancel a reservation using Web Checkout. You can use the tools in this video to change the pickup or return time of a reservation, edit the resources in a reservation, or to cancel a reservation. First, let's find our reservation to edit. Select either the pickup truck icon or the reservations menu, then find upcoming. We are now in the find upcoming reservation screen. On the left hand side are search terms to find the reservation for pickup. The earliest and latest scheduled start times are automatically based on the checkout center's pickup grace period policy. If a reservation falls outside of the checkout center's grace period, adjust the latest start times or simply remove the latest start time by clicking the X to the right of the field. Enter information that is relevant to the reservation you are searching for, then click find. In the patron field, include the patron's name, patron ID, or barcode to search for reservations for a specific patron. Now, click Find to view results. Click the CK ID to view the reservation details. Be sure to review the Scheduling tab, Contents tab, and the Other Information tab to ensure you have the correct reservation. From here, you can edit or cancel the reservation by clicking the options listed here. To cancel the reservation, simply click the red Cancel button. You will then be prompted to confirm the cancellation. You may be prompted to enter your PIN here. Once the reservation is canceled, a cancellation confirmation will be visible on the top left-hand corner of the screen. You may receive an email sent notification depending on the email settings. To edit the reservation, click the blue Edit Reservation button. This will now load either the Timeline Scheduler or the Allocation Detail screen based on the Checkout Center's default allocation mode. First, we'll review edits in Timeline Scheduler mode. To edit the date or time, drag and drop the flags or enter the new times. To add a resource, click on the resource types and select the appropriate resources. To remove a resource, right-click on the item, then select Remove, or double-click on the item. Once edits are complete, select Commit. This will pull up the Allocation detail screen. Review the reservation details and click Save Reservation. You may be prompted to enter your PIN here. Once edits have been saved, a green confirmation banner will be displayed at the top of the screen. Now, we'll review editing a reservation in Shopping Cart mode. Please note, clicking Commit in Timeline Scheduler mode allows for edits in shopping cart mode before selecting Save Reservation. To edit the date or time of a reservation, select the Scheduling tab and adjust the times. Be sure to click Set Times in order to save the new time. You may be prompted to enter your PIN here. To edit resources, select the Contents tab. Currently reserved resources are listed under the Active Resources section. To add a resource, Type in the resource ID or scan a barcode into the ID Barcode to Add field. Items will then appear in the Added Resources section. To remove a resource, click the red X next to the item. This will remove the resources from the Active Resources section and into the Items Pending Removal list. To add the resources back to the reservation, you can click the green plus symbol. To save the edits, click Save Reservation. You may be prompted to enter your PIN here. Once the reservation is saved, a green confirmation banner will be displayed at the top of the screen. You can review edits from the Scheduling and Contents tab. For your reference, the Activity tab will log these edits. Thank you for watching, and if you would like to see more tutorials, please email implementation at webcheckout.net and let us know which tutorials you would like to see.